and it's still raining. I want all of you to do something now. Sit back. Close your eyes. On the back of your eyelids, draw a picture of the United States of America and all of its possessions. Draw a map. And on that map, put a dot for every city and town in this great nation and in its possessions. Now, if you're like me, it'd take you forever to count those dots because just in the state of Arizona, there's an awful lot of little towns and cities. A lot of them. Now, we're talking about the whole nation and all of the possessions of the United States of America. Now, take yourself to the street corner of any town that you want to in this nation or any of its possessions. And understand that at any given moment, hour, day, week, month, or year, if you have enough money in your hand, you can buy any quantity of any kind of dope, drug, narcotic that you can think of. At any moment, day or night, any hour, any day, week, month, or year, day or night, Now, can you imagine the supplies of drugs that have to be entering this country to accomplish that? Can you imagine? Understand that it's not Colombian drug lords bringing those drugs into this country. They're coming in under the protection of the umbrella of national security. Ladies and gentlemen, it's still raining. When is it ever going to stop? How is it ever going to stop? How in the world? And who are we going to get to stop the rain? I know from my stint with the Office of Naval Intelligence that George Herbert Walker Bush, when he was the President and CEO of the Offshore Division of Zapata Oil, was the man responsible for bringing the drugs into this country. He organized the first large-scale drug smuggling operations from Central and South America that came to the offshore oil platforms and from there into the beach by the normal crew conveyance and thus skirted detection by law enforcement or customs officials and it's still raining still storming and until we as a people until we as a nation wake up and take our power back and reinstate the Constitution as the supreme law of this land. The storm will continue to get worse, and it will continue to rain, and there will be no sunshine for this nation. For the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen, is scheduled for extinction. Understand that you will have no rights the United Nations Charter has no individual rights for individual human beings. There's no freedom of religion, no freedom of speech, no protection from unreasonable search and seizure. No guarantee that you will not be made to testify against yourself. There's no writ of habeas corpus. There is no guarantee of just compensation for property confiscated or seized. There is no nothing. No nothing. There are no guarantees of any kind. Are you ready and willing to give up everything that humanity has worked for in the history of this earth? 
all of man's efforts to be free, to be responsible, to walk in a divine state of grace, responsible upon this earth? Or are you going to give it all away? And for what? And for what? We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.